I can only assume that even way up here in the north woods of Minnesota, if you're looking for rope, you just keep following them. There've got to be easier ways to find it. Likewise, if it's wood you want, that's why God invented lumber yards. These trees here, if there's a bend in it, it won't lay flat. Or ultimately, if it's a canoe you're after. You know, they've got fiberglass now. Really? Yes. How's that work? Uh, a lot better, actually. <laughs> really? You think so? <laughs> actually, I don't think they've really improved canoes that much since the birch bark canoes. Ray Bozell is one of America's last remaining birch bark canoe builders. He's a master now but he was just an apprentice 26 years ago when Charles Kuralt stopped by to interview his grandfather-in-law, a peculiar man with a hawk feather in his hat and a big nose and funny mustache that didn't come off with his glasses. Pretty good. What a yeah, character. Why did you pick such a lonely place to live in the first place? I wanted to live in a wild country like the Indians did. I thought, now that would be a free life. Bill Hafman came up here with his wife, Violet, in 1921 and built his first canoe with only a knife and an ax. Oh, the beautiful one. Every canoe he built was a little better than the one before. He does it without nails or any hardware, with a result so beautiful it almost brings tears to your eyes. After Kuralt's piece aired, Bill got so many orders it would have taken five years to make them all. Oh, she's a good one. Unfortunately. Bill only had two years left. That's a good job. It was a traffic accident. It didn't take his life, but it took an awful lot out of him. I remember twice after the accident where he came in the shop, and he just kind of walked through and, and that was it. It was kind of like he, he just decided he was done. And with that, the torch was passed. Bill died a few years later at the age of 92. Today, the future lies in Ray's two sons who grew up in the business. Although for that very reason, they say they may not want to grow old in it. You know, my kids got their dreams. They got to do what they got to do. I mean, I can't tell them this, this is going to be your life. Personally, I hope they reconsider. If so, maybe someday some other reporter can come back again. For now, though, we close this chapter just as Kuralt did 26 years ago with a passage from a poem. Longfellow's The Song of Hiawatha. Thus the birch canoe was builded, and it floated on the river like a yellow leaf in oh, autumn. Like a yellow leaf in autumn, like a yellow water lily. There's something about your delivery that doesn't quite work as well. Well, I know, but that was his job. Mine is just building canoes. <laughs> Charles Kuralt. And Steve Hartman. CBS, CBS News, Big Fork, Minnesota. Minnesota.